Okay, let me explain how we're going to attach the stair ledger to the landing. First thing we're going to want to do is measure down from the top of the joist to the top of the ledger, um, the width of our rise, as long as both um, the tread material and the landing material is the same. If not, we would have to make an adjustment. So as long as we're going to be using half inch plywood and half, half inch plywood for our um, stair landing and half inch plywood for our stairs would be fine. Now remember, this is just a, an example. Do not use half inch plywood. Um, I don't recommend it. Use at least five eighths or three quarters for your stair treads and your stair landing um, sheathing. So you can see I made a mark there, seven and a half. I made another mark on the other side here at seven and a half. Hope you can see that. And then I'm going to attach the ledger to that. Now, that is how we figure out where to place our ledger. Seven and a half inches, whatever the stair rise. If your stair rise is um, eight inches, go eight inches from the top of the joist to the top of the um, top of your ledger. Now let's take a look at using our story pole here. You can see that we're still a half inch down from our original um, seven and a half inch riser spacing. This would be the third tread. So we have one Two, second step, third step, and fourth step. So remember, your finished stair tread is going to be the measurement to the top of your stair tread. It's going to be the measurement to the top of your um, floor sheathing, the very top of everything. So again, this would be a half inch down for this, once we put our stair stringers up and put our half inch treads on top, we would, we'd be exactly where we want to be.